Hi, I'm Sapientia. This is very introductory step course for beginners. The second T test. Just one step forward. In last class, we learned about the purpose of T test. The purpose of T test is to compare the homogeneity of two groups. In other words, we just want to know the two groups are same or not, okay? And we are learned about the statistical question for t-test. Here, our statistical question is, what is the probability that the mean difference is occurred by chance? Okay? Here, the dif mean difference is uh, 1.4 centimeter. Just we want to know what is the probability that the mean difference is simply occurred by chance? If this probability is small, maybe there is uh, some reasons. But this probability is large, it means that, okay, it is occurred by chance. Let me see more. We can change the statistical question for t-test like this. How big difference is really big? In this example, we have 1.4 centimeter mean difference. If this difference is enough, of course, statistically enough, it might not be occurred by chance. However, if this difference is not enough, statistically not enough, it is occurred by chance. So, our question is, okay, is the 1.4 centimeter big or not? So, is the 1.4 centimeter difference occurred by chance? What is the probability? It is our question. Now we have a 1.4 centimeter mean difference, but we don't know this number is big or not. So now we need a comparable reference number in order to decide if this difference 1.4 is big or not. Okay? Because here, we just have a one number. It's kind of an absolute number, 1.4. So we cannot compare. We don't know this is big or small. So what is the comparable reference? That is standard deviation or variance. These two are the same concept. Why? Let's get back to the um, standard deviation. For example, if we have a, a data set such as a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we just did 5 observations, okay? The mean value is 3, yeah, easy. And the variance is calculated as like uh, this, okay? And then the number is 2.5. And the root 2.5 is standard deviation is about 1.58. Okay, here we must know the meaning of the standard deviation. What is the meaning of the standard deviation? Here, our data is averagely spread about 1.5 from mean value. 3. So uh, from 3, extract and add 1.58, uh, it ranged from 1.42 to 4.58. But here we must know another meaning of the standard deviation. Okay, we know the concept of the standard deviation. It means uh, our data is spreaded about 1.58 from the mean value 3.
But what is the meaning of the standard deviation? This spread plus minus 1.58 is uh, kind of uh, some significant meaning or not? This spread is just occurred by chance or not? It is very important. How do you think about that? Yes, this standard deviation is a meaningless spread and is occurred by chance. Sometimes we call it random. So our data is randomly spread about plus minus 1.58 from the mean value 3. Okay, let's get back to the 1.4 uh, difference, mean difference. How do you think about that? How can we use this reference number, standard deviation, for our decision making? The mean difference 1.4 is the average distance between two groups. Right? Yeah. As you can see here, the mean value is like this. And the difference 1.4 means the average distance between two groups. This is a kind of a distance concept, right? So let's think about two numbers. The mean distance between A and B is 1.4. And average spreading distance is standard deviation, 1.58. These two concepts, mean difference and the standard deviations, are distance. Okay? So we can compare these two numbers for our decision making. Consequently, if this 1.4 is sufficiently smaller than standard deviation, we could decide this 1.4 difference has no significant meaning because the standard deviation is just random spreading. It means that the mean difference 1.4 is smaller than the random spreading. Thus, we should decide this difference 1.4 has no significant meaning here statistically. However, if this 1.4 is sufficiently larger than standard deviation, we could decide this 1.4 difference has significant meaning, of course, statistically. So the question is how we could decide whether the mean difference is sufficiently smaller or larger than standard deviation. Okay, summary. As I said, the mean difference is sufficiently smaller than standard deviation. It means that this difference is occurred just by chance. However, if mean difference is sufficiently larger than standard deviation, it means that this difference, this event is not occurred by chance. You should remember the uh, point of the first class. I said statistics is the magic of variance. Now we are going to the magic, statistical magic. So um, finally, we can uh, conclude that t-test is the decision process how large the ratio of mean difference to standard deviation is. We will check the details of this part in next class. Again, you must remember the statistics is 
magic of variance. Okay, I will stop here. The second test, just one step forward. Thank you.